Uh, we've been asked to do a review of Token Studios versus Figma variables and help answer some questions as to when and why uh, to use variables versus Token Studios. So let's get started. First, we'll open up our Token Studios. Give it a second. Here you can see that we've got all of our global or root tokens. We've got brand, spacing, sizes, border radius, border width, box shadows, typography. Typography breaks down into font families, font weight, height, size, and paragraphs to facing. So we've got a lot of, of tokens that we're currently using in Token Studios to design and theme over 50 components with 3,000 variants. Again, please visit uicollective.co for lessons on how to build some of these components uh, as well as tools and downloads. You can see here we also have our light mode uh, where we've abstracted our colors and uh, created a theme and then we've mapped those themes to our UI elements. Okay, whereas with variables we've done the first draft of moving all of our brand colors over so we've got all of our colors uh, semantically driven here so we've got red and blue and teal and purple and whatever uh, then what we've done is we've aliased those um, into a theme so now we've abstracted words like blue and now we're using words like primary secondary neutral etc and then we've done mapping where we've now mapped uh, those theme colors to our UI elements like text uh, surface and border and then we've created modes for for light mode and dark mode Okay, so we've done a really good job of migrating all of our colors over. Uh, we've also migrated some corner radiuses uh, using the numeric variable uh, from Figma. So let's show you a bit of a demo here. So we'll type the word button, grab our type tool, button, perfect. Uh, we'll select that and because uh, we're not gonna zoom in a too much, we're gonna just use one of our larger uh, buttons. So we're going to go to our brand under typography. We've already had pre-selected. So we got hero. We could swap between other type sizes. Uh, but in this case, you can see that it's mapped to our styles. Uh, we go to our color mode. And then we're going to make this uh, text on surface because we're going to add a, a blue background to it. So hit uh, Shift-A to add auto layout. Again, feel free to take one of our button courses at uh, UI Collective. And then we're going to add our action color using Token Studios. The next thing we're going to do is access some additional tokens. Um, so we select our brand. Uh, we can put a corner radius on this, either specific to a component like a button, um, or we can select some of our native scales, uh, whether we want to apply medium or, or round. When we go into spacing, again, here we've created a button large spacing. I'm just going to edit this so you can see how the token works. Here with values, we can apply multiple values, either direct values or aliased values. Mm -hmm. And we can apply values to top, bottom, left, and right. Or if we only put in two numbers, it assumes the first number is the top and bottom and the second number is the right and left. This is incredibly powerful when you're adding spacing or, or padding to your elements and you want differentiation between uh, where you're adding those paddings. Okay, so we've added our background colors, text colors, text styles, and padding all via Figma uh, or Token Studio, sorry. And then we'll create one using variables. Okay, so we grab our type. Here we go to our type styles. Again, all those styles exist here, no problem. Now, please note that uh, type styles are not supported by variables yet. Um, that's a big, uh, big loss when it comes to migrating your design system. Um, but I'm sure that's going to hopefully come out um, as variables are currently in beta. So some big assumptions that over the next few months, uh, typography will be included in variables to the same level and quality that they did with, with colors. So now we have our type. We can grab our variable colors here. So again, we've moved everything over. We've got our alias or theme, and then we've got our mapping. So we'll choose on action. We'll add a, a background or a shift auto layout. And then here we can go to our fills. And again, in our theme, we've got our surface on action. Borders, we've added some uh, tokens or variables here. So we can either choose our root variables, which are, or we can start to build out ones that are component specific. But again, you can only apply them 
uh, one number variable to the whole thing. So if we apply eight, it's eight for every corner. You can't do this to individual corners. This may not seem like too big of a deal for buttons, but as you get into things like drop downs, where you want the top to, let's say, have a zero corner radius because it's butting up against a square input, uh, and you want the bottom to have corner radiuses, it's not possible yet to affect the individual corner radiuses the same way as it's not uh, possible yet to affect the individual padding functions. Now, you can go into padding here and grab specific numbers from our spacing uh, variables. So we can say, okay, we want the top to be 16, and we want, sorry, we want the left and right to be 16, and we want the top and bottom to be, let's change that. We'll go 16 top and bottom, and we'll go 24 left and right. So we're able to access those, um, but it's still not as convenient as being able to create kind of component level uh, spacing where I can make sure that all of my buttons have the same top and bottom left and right. So I think there's still a bit of growth or opportunity here for variables um, to get to the level of quality that we have over here. Additionally, uh, just to add some caveats to this. So currently variables does not support um, typography. So if you're looking to migrate your design system, we'd actually suggest if you're using Token Studios uh, to keep your design system in Token Studios until variables kind of matures up over the next few months. Uh, there is no uh, variables for border width or for box shadow. So as people consuming your design system, they have to jump between variables for colors and some sizes or numeric variables. And then they have to use your normal styles for things like body copy and, and effects. Um, and then additionally, currently Figma doesn't support modes when it comes to nesting components. So if you're building things like inputs, uh, where you may have a label component and a field component, um, the color variables for modes doesn't currently affect nested components. And I'm sure that's something that Figma is going to, to figure out soon. So when we look at tokens versus variables, our current thoughts are Token Studios is amazing. We, we suggest using it and maintaining it, um, but they've also been doing a phenomenal job of making sure that migration and um, connection into variables is up to date. So we suggest staying with Token Studios for now, but variables is looking great. Um, it's got some growth opportunities here to catch up to tokens, uh, but in the meantime, we would suggest staying with, with Token Studios. Again, please visit uicollective.co for more information, for templates, tools and courses on building components for your design system, uh, but we hope this was uh, helpful.